The stable Android 15 update has finally arrived for Pixel devices. After a short delay, Google has rolled out the update for its Pixel phones and tablets, introducing a range of new features that enhance security, privacy, and multitasking capabilities. But while Pixel users are enjoying the fresh update, Samsung Galaxy device users are still waiting for the One UI 7.0 beta to drop. Let's dive into what's new in Android 15 for Pixel users and where Samsung stands with One UI 7.0. Google's latest Android 15 update brings some exciting features that will make using Pixel devices more secure and user-friendly. Here's what stands out. 1. Theft Detection Lock One of the most talked about features is the theft detection lock. This clever tool uses AI and sensor data to detect if your phone has been snatched and whether the thief is on the run. The device will automatically lock itself, making it accessible only to the owner. Additionally, it detects common theft tricks, like removing the SIM card or disabling Find My Device. After multiple failed attempts to unlock the phone, it locks down, making it harder to reset and sell. This feature isn't exclusive to Pixel, though. It's also coming to Samsung Galaxy devices soon. 2. Private Space Google has introduced Private Space, a new secure zone for sensitive files and apps similar to Samsung's secure folder. When locked, apps and files in this space are hidden from the app drawer, notifications, and recent apps menu, providing users with extra privacy. 3. Multitasking for foldables and tablets Android 15 brings improvements to multitasking, especially for foldable devices and tablets. You can now pin or unpin the taskbar with ease, and app pair shortcuts can be saved to the home screen. This is great for users who often switch between two apps, such as Gmail and Keep Notes for productivity. 4. Camera Improvements there's a significant upgrade in low-light performance thanks to Little Light Boost. Additionally, third-party apps now have better access to camera controls, improving image quality across the board. 5. Webcam Mode Pixel devices can now double as webcams for PCs, and there's a new high-quality HQ option for better video performance. Fingerprint authentication is required to use this feature, ensuring added security. 7.0 Featuring a two-page design for easier access to controls. In addition, Samsung has reworked the battery icon and charging animations, adding some visual flair to the update. Samsung fans may be frustrated by the wait, but this extended development period suggests that the company is focusing on getting everything right before opening the beta program to the public. The promise of a smoother, more refined UI experience should be worth it. If you're a Pixel user, the Android 15 update is available now, so go ahead and explore the new features. From theft protection to camera improvements, this update packs a punch. As for Samsung users, patience is key, but the One UI 7.0 beta will likely be worth the wait. Samsung has hinted that One UI 7.0 will offer a major UI overhaul, so stay tuned for what could be the most exciting update yet for Galaxy devices. That's all for today's video. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates on Android, Samsung, and other Now let's dive into news. the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. 
As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just 1 hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 hertz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well, but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top-tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.